Okay, now this looked like a lot of math. I know that might have been a lot kind of rough, but don't tune out yet because uh, we still need to put this into an algorithm. So let's use our pseudocode. We'll start with iteration zero, recursion level zero. We'll start with the entire interval for H, and we will create what we know to be the full trapezoid roll across the entire interval. Now we'll set up a loop and we'll need to repeat until we get the sufficient relative error that we're looking for. So we'll need to, uh, inside this loop, this is representing some sort of a while loop, so now we'll increment our recursion level and we just simply apply the formula that we have. Now this is going to require looping of its own, of course, and adding up some accumulator and multiplying by the right width, which we'll calculate as we go, and we're going to have to keep track of the old sum so that we can create the new one. We'll need to create this relative error as a stopping rule, and then we'll stop this loop when this relative error gets small enough. So I haven't given you as much pseudocode as usual. You'll need to think about how this works. I really wouldn't expect you to index these H values because you'd waste a lot of memory building an array for this. There's no reason you can't just create a single H value and use it over and over again because once you've used it, you won't need it anymore. So you go ahead and develop your own pseudocode that completes that very, very uh, uh, cursed pseudocode we had on the previous page. And uh, after you do that, you're not going to turn in that pseudocode. You'll apply uh, your integrator to this function, 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x. Okay, so the next step after you write this uh, pseudocode is I want you to do the, the integration exactly for this function. Now this can be done in a variety of ways through substitution or through some trig identity that uh, might be make it even easier. You're going to use 10 to the minus fourth as your criteria for limiting your relative error. So you want to continue your algorithm until you hit that precision in terms of relative error. Do the integral exactly. You'll get five points for that. You're not going to turn in your pseudocode. Write a MATLAB code that reflects the pseudocode and calculate the relative error in two ways. Uh, first, compare it to the exact answer. You're going to have the exact answer in part B. Generally, you don't get to do that, but in this case, you do. So let's see how we're doing relative to the, the actual integral. Then, uh, I want you to use the method we usually use, and that is do a relative error using the last two calculated points. And use number two as your stopping rule and iterate that until you get below 10 to the minus fourth. I want you to calculate the number of iterations it took, how many total terms there were. That's not the same thing. So think about the difference between the recursion level and the actual number of trapezoidal sums you do across the entire looping process. It would be best to display this to at least five digits since you're trying to get an error down to 10 to the minus fourth. So that's your homework for 5.1. I just want to add one more comment before we close this session, and that is this trapezoidal rule can be used for multiple integrations, so for double integrals, triple integrals. Your book uh, has a section on that which you can look at, uh, but we're not going to spend any time on that. We'll just stick with single integration in this course. So we're not done. Next time we're going to skip over section 5.2 and jump to Simpson's rule and look at that, and then we'll come back and do 5.2 later. So that's probably enough for now, and give that homework a try, and we'll see you next time.